Hi, Joe here from Shutter Speak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling face here on YouTube. So Nikon makes this cool little thing that kind of doesn't really get talked about all that much. It's called the Wireless Transmitter Utility. And it's supported on a whole ton of Nikon cameras going pretty far back. And I'm going to give you an overview of what it does and when and why you might want to use it. So first off, what does it do? Well, it sounds exactly like what it does. It's the wireless transmitter utility. It's a utility that you can install on your PC or your MacBook and it will wirelessly get images from your camera. So as you're taking pictures, the pictures are being sent wirelessly to your home computer or your laptop or whatever. Now there is a catch. You do have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So Who's it useful for? Well, it's certainly great for a studio photographer because you are sending your raw images over in real time. No additional parts or anything connected to your camera to make this work. It's, everything's built into your camera that makes this work. Um, it's great if, say, you were a wedding photographer and you wanted to start putting images up as you're shooting them onto a screen. Wireless transmitter utility, you're going to have to bring a router with you so that your laptop and camera or on the same network, but that's no problem, right? And you'll be able to send them to a laptop and maybe have an editor there and get them right up onto a screen. You could do this with events or any kind of studio work or just work that you're doing in your house. There's a whole lot of great use cases for this. And like I said, it's free and it's supported by almost every Nikon camera that's been made recently. So let me show you how to install it and how to configure it in the menu. Okay, so you can download this software from the Nikon website, and here's the webpage. You see that there is a version for both Mac and Windows. View download page, and here we go. Here's the Windows version, and there is the Mac version. Just scroll on down, accept the terms and conditions, and set your region, and then go ahead and download the version that you need for your computer, and go ahead and install that. Okay, so after you have the wireless transmitter utility installed, you're going to see it up on your screen and there's going to be a series of steps that you're going to need to take. And it actually shows one of 16, but it's actually less than that. There's a couple of different ways you can connect this, but we're going to talk about the wireless way because it works really well for one and, and for another. Um, I think it's probably just the, the simplest. So you're going to click next and then you're going to select here cameras built in Wi-Fi. Okay, so there are a couple of different options. There's wired LAN. So if you had a connector or if you had a camera with a wired LAN, uh, wireless LAN with one of these other optional Nikon parts, uh, yet another one. And then of course we can use the cameras built in Wi-Fi and that's what we're going to use for this. And it's probably the simplest, no extra parts needed. You're going to select the destination folder and application, although in reality you really don't have many applications you can choose from, but you can choose where these images are going to be saved on your computer. Okay, so if you're using Windows, the default location is going to be in your pictures directory, and it's going to be in a folder called Wireless Transmitter Utility, and you can change that by hitting the Browse button and selecting a different location, but if you're okay with that, uh, you can just go ahead. now. When they say you can choose the application, there's really only the Explorer NX Studio or Capture NXT. Those are your applications. So for now, I'm going to leave it for Explorer, meaning the file Explorer. Okay, and I'm going to hit Next. And then from here, I'm just going to say uh, Finish Wizard. And now we're going to have to go into the camera, and we're going to configure some settings in the camera. Okay, so I am on a Nikon Z9. If you're on a Z8, it's also going to be the same. But if you're using a different camera like a Z6, a Z6 II, Z7, D850, you're not going to find a network menu. So in that case, you're going to use the setup menu. And you're going to look for the same options. It's just going to be in the setup menu. So for you, it'll be in the wrench. If you're on a Z8, Z9, it's going to be in the network menu and you're going to scroll on down. First thing first, you're going to need to make sure that airplane mode is off. That's important. And then you're going to go on down here and you're going to say connect to computer. And then you're going to go to network settings and you're going to create a profile. And you're going to say yes to this. 
Okay, and now you're going to enter a profile name. Now, there's a little bit of a catch to entering a profile name. So you can enter pretty much anything you want on the camera, but you can't do that with a wireless transmitter utility, meaning every profile name that you make in the wireless transmitter utility that you want to work with the wireless transmitter utility has to be unique. Although the camera has no such actual requirement, the transmitter utility does. So make sure that your profile names are always unique if you use more than one profile. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and change this. So this is a Z9. So I'm going to say Z9 and give it a little underscore there. And okay, that seems to be pretty good. I'm happy with that. And magnifying glass plus to save that and magnifying glass plus again. And now we're going to search for a Wi-Fi network. And in a second or so, you'll see the wireless uh, networks come up. And there we go. So that's the one that I want to connect to. I'm going to select that and I'm going to enter my password. So of course, you're going to look for your own wireless network at home and you're going to enter in your wireless password now. So go ahead and put that in there now. Okay, so once your uh, password is entered, go ahead and click Magnifying Glass Plus. And if you're connected, you should see your SSID and then you're going to go ahead and say Obtain your IP address automatically. And once you got that, say OK for next. And then we have this little screen here that's going to tell us that we need to pair the computer and the camera. So we're going to start the wireless transmitter utility back on our computer again. So if you still have it running at this time, close it out and just relaunch it. Okay, so once you relaunch your wireless transmitter utility, you should see your camera and it should match the camera name that's on the back of your camera screen. And from there, just go ahead and click next in your wireless transmitter utility. And it's gonna ask you for an authorization code. And again, you'll see on the back of your camera, a code and you're gonna go ahead and enter that code and say next. And you will see now a pairing complete message here. Okay, so click next to change to destination folder. We did all this earlier, so we have this all set up already. And at this point, action completed successfully. The folder will receive images from the camera. We say next and we are good to go, but we still have one or two more things that we do need to check. We go to connect computer and when in network settings, but we do have to also change connection type. So here we're going to have to change this to picture transfer from camera control, which is the default. Okay. And then from there, we see now the indicator at the bottom of the screen turns green, meaning that we are good to go, but we're still not done yet. So now we have to go down to options and we have to select auto upload. Once we turn that to on, then the utility will actually work. So you also see you have a bunch of options here in options. Well, and we could delete pictures after the upload. We can upload raw and JPEG. We can uh, choose the slot selection. We can upload raw video. Uh, again, we have a specific folder that we can use on our cards, etc. So we have a bunch of options, but the most important one is you do need to say auto upload. Otherwise, Nothing will ever upload to your computer. So once you have done that, then all you need to do is and we'll give that a second. And now let's take a look on our Windows desktop. Uh, let's check that folder. Okay, so I've gone to my file explorer in Windows and you see I'm here in the pictures directory and the wireless transmitter utility. And from here you can see all the different cameras that I've hooked up to this utility. And now here's the Z9 folder that we were using. We're going to double click that. And inside here you see we have an image folder just like you would on your SD card. And again, then there we go. And there are our images that we just took of the picture that's up on the wall next to my desk right here. And so at this point, if you're seeing images in that folder, you have successfully hooked this up and you can start using it. So all you need to do in the future is launch the utility on your computer, go into your network settings and launch it from the network settings of the camera or on a Z6, 2, Z7, Z5, etc. 
from your setup menu. You're going to go to connect to computer from your setup menu. So that's it. So I hope you find this little tip useful and this free utility from Nikon useful. If you do, let me know in the comments. If you knew about this utility, leave me a comment. If you have never heard about this utility, you had no idea it even existed, please also leave me a message and let me know. Hey, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. And if something here helps you out, please help me out by hitting like, subscribe, and of course, ring the bell for future updates to this channel. Thank you, YouTube. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.